Aria, Emily, Hannah, and Spencer are hot on A's trail and are not going to back down without a fight. Hey fellow Pretty Little Liars fans, Heather here to talk about last night's episode, Mona Mania, so stop watching now or stick your fingers in your ears if you haven't seen it yet because this is your official spoiler alert. The girls are fed up with Mona and her team of minions, and I am too. I was glad to see that the girls aren't running from A anymore. A's really going to have to up the ante if she and or he wants to stay one step ahead of these girls. I mean, they sort of did catch one of them in the janitor's office, so let's talk about that for a minute. Is Lucas really just another victim of A's, aka Mona's games? Do you think he's telling the truth about Mona blackmailing him? He definitely seemed genuinely scared of her, but is he dropping out of school to stay off Mona's radar, or is it all a ploy to to make it easier to play stalker during the day. It's still too soon to tell, but the suspense is killing me. After all, Mona did seem to make her fair share of enemies last night. For one, Spencer. She really knows how to get under a girl's skin, running against Spencer for the presidency of the decathlon club, I think it was. Low blow Mona, but on the bright side, if Mona hadn't won, we wouldn't have gotten to see Hannah stand up to her. No one's coming to your pity party, Mona. It's way too late for that. It was good to see Paige back. Poor thing. I would be freaked out too after almost losing my life to some psycho killer and then on top of that having the Halloween thing happen. But I was shocked when Emily took off into the woods after A when Paige's car broke down. She almost caught Toby and that would have been a real shocker, wouldn't it? But why would Toby slash Paige's tire? Was it to keep them safe from the real A or A's or is he just taking orders? I mean, besides the slash tire, A could have really taken advantage of the fact that they were stranded in the woods, but didn't. And that's a little odd, right? I guess we should also follow up on the Byron thing. So he got Ella drunk so he could sneak out to give Allie that money. But I still don't believe that he killed Allison. I mean, if we've learned anything about this show, when the evidence stacks up against someone this nicely, it means that person's innocent. And I don't know about you, but even though Meredith and Arya shared a little bonding time this episode, I still don't trust her, like at all. I'm really hoping someone can help me get to the bottom of this mess. Is Lucas really scared of Mona? Did Byron kill Allison? Can Meredith be trusted? What did you think of this episode? Leave your thoughts and theories in the comments and I'll see you next week.